So, welcome everyone to another edition of uh, Tour in Vic. This is what we call our sessions. Uh, this time it's a little bit different because our guest is Elena, Elena Trailina. Welcome, Elena. <laughs> and Elena uh, is not part of the artist collection of Chile per se. We do have a lot of her art here. And of course, this is mainly her work. <laughs> so we are going to be talking a little bit about her work um, with the with the champagne bottle and also uh, with her work in Milan. So Elena, welcome. <laughs> Hello, I wish I had the glass of this champagne now. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't do it with the Zoom, but I will. <laughs> I, I hope I will come also one day to Chile because I, I, yes. I really want to see the terroir of all those wines. But I can I can say that I tried it because I, uh, when I worked in a um, hotel, you know, mm -hmm. we made also reception. And um, the sommelier there, they were so nice. And so I tried just, I can say, almost all the years. Good. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's just so, so good. Really like it. Good. So in some, somewhere, I can say that I tasted the chili. <laughs> the taste of chili. <laughs> I know how it is. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> That's what Vic is about, like the wine is about a taste of Chile. And when you're here in Chile, you get a taste of the world with the art. So it's a little bit of mixture. <laughs> yeah. So Elena, yeah. Uh, I know you have you have a room in, in Vic Milan, right? Room 401? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and also you collaborated with your husband. I wouldn't say collaborate, you did it in it together, right? Yeah, we did it together. Alex, he painted all the bodies um, and the, the, the vision of it. it it's his vision. Mm -hmm. And I painted the um, some architecture, mm -hmm. some figures of, uh, you know, the geometric one and the gold. Because I like, you know, my part is gold. <laughs> yes, I'm working see. now with the gold leaf a lot and um, uh, I, I may say that I, I'm really interested in um, because I, I studied in the Academy of Brera so I studied a lot of ancient techniques and I really love it and um, I use a lot of punching, punching of gold leaf which is used to, to, to be the art of, uh, um, of the orthodox um, aureoles of mm -hmm. the hollows of yes. the saint. Yes, I and I took this element and I use it to, to create everything else. Yes, and <laughs> no. it's very modern because you switch that orthodox method into something very modern and, and very visual. Um, and I, had, I, wanted, I was curious, did you choose Italy because you think it has some, uh, at some point, a relationship with the Byzantine art or? Or why did you choose Italy to study? Oh, actually, it? it's happened. It's happened already in Italy. I, I, you know, I lived in Russia and I studied a lot from my childhood. I studied art always. I went to art school. Then I stayed in um, kind of bottega, you know, like uh, in the studio of master for five years. Wow. And I began to study absolutely different thing. I finished, for example, international university as a manager, <laughs> as a, I, I, and I worked in uh, in Moscow at government of Moscow. So that's wow. absolutely different. But during the night, I always painted, wow. and um, and I, you know, and uh, Renaissance was my my passion. Caravaggio was my passion, also Barocco, Italian. Oh. And I tried everywhere, you know, some to, how to study these techniques and about them. But in Russia, I couldn't find something that could satisfy me. Mm -hmm. And once I read the book um, uh, about Michelangelo's life, and when I was reading it, I understood that there I want to go. And I want to know him <laughs> personally. And, and then um, I just decided and I came here in Italy in the day I, I had the, my exams and I just went to <laughs> Brera and then uh, I started. And then, then I met Alex in Italy. in Italy, yeah. 
yeah. Academy well, of Brera. I can't blame you because uh, I think Italy is like the 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 beginning of all of the artistic. Uh, it's not that I mean in the rest of Europe as well, but I think it's like where the expression of art is everywhere, right? Uh, so it's yeah, really- they they just from the high childhood they just see it. They go to the church and on the church, for example, even here in the small town near Milano, you can find the uh, um, student of Leonardo, you know, it's and it's everywhere. Also, the nature is very beautiful and it's not covered with the high buildings. It's always, they are so good at, you know, the balance with the nature and the, the architecture and it's so beautiful. And that's why you just see beauty. Beauty came inside when you were just growing up. So I think all the Italians are artists, actually, inside of them. They <laughs> you see, the and an artist in them, yeah. <laughs> because they are the best designers. They they can add also the food is so, so how can I say potential here? Mm. <laughs> the taste of food, yeah, and the way they they cook is always close to the nature, and I really do like this mentality. Well, and speaking of nature, I wanted to um, talk about your uh, your work of art because it's a it's part of a of a, a collection you call photosynthesis. Yeah, <laughs> really interesting because you talk a lot about nature. So um, why photosynthesis? Actually, it's you know it's kind of a joke also because um, <laughs> there is photosynthesis. Like I took some photos also and I just. Synthesize them also, <laughs> but at the same time, I put the um, lots of different flowers inside each um, of um, paintings, and, and not scents, just right? flowers, yeah. plants, yes, and also the purple. Because I, when I painted, I put the oil of uh, some uh, flowers inside. Hmm. Unfortunately, with the time, I've noticed none of them uh, remains. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. some of them just fly away. So now I'm working on a um, new project, secret one. <laughs> because okay, I, I found out that, yeah, with a new technique, which is very ancient one, the encausto, it's called. It's used with the um, wax of, um, you know, of the bees, oh. and they become like a kind of candle, you know, with parfum. Mm. That's why I think the, the wax, with the the parfum inside the wax, this gonna remain a little bit more. I hope <laughs> because I. I I do like this idea, and even you know when I paint with all those perfumes, it's really cool. <laughs> yeah, because I and think art is part of, of, of it makes you feel things. So uh, it's it's um, it's an experience. So if you add a visual, uh, a, um, organoleptic thing to the visual, I think it complements it. So yeah, very good idea. It's better here in the box. Um, yeah because it was very hard to reproduce the original yeah. uh, because it was you know it had to be uh, uh, done through colors but i see what you mean like the little the little holes that we can see here yeah they are really holes <laughs> yeah, exactly they they don't great they, they don't just look like holes they are holes <laughs> yeah because we it's beautiful yes, i just punched them yeah beautiful. and we, we when we worked on the bottle with Carrie and Alex, we really there was the problem how to reproduce the almost the, the sense of punching. Yeah. We also thought about the bottles, you know, especially, but you couldn't do that because it, uh, the champagne is vintage, so it, it was already bottled. Yes. <laughs> so it was yes. impossible to, in, if you <laughs> want to produce bottles with uh, the points, you know, like this, and then you should wait again 10 years. <laughs> it was impossible. <laughs> no, it, they were so different ideas at the end. We found out with different layers how to do it. And uh, speaking of the of the um, the bottle itself, um, why did you choose these two uh, these two ladies? <laughs> one is Actually, like a nymph, and the other one, I think you call it caterpillar. Yeah, that that <laughs> about the also those bags can I put inside a little bit of urine, you know. Mm-hmm. But um, actually, we worked like two years on okay. the design of this bottle. Um, at the beginning with Karen and Alex, and more with Alex. We 
because he was very inspired how to do it <laughs> and he had like 10,000 ideas each day I seen him and um, that time I lived um, in the hotel where we worked because we worked during the day but also most of the time during the night when the clients were sleeping um, so and uh, when Alex and Carrie were there we worked uh, on the bottle and he was just uh, in the morning when on the breakfast. Hi, Elena, I have an idea. You should make one roll. It should be very beautiful. Could you please? Um, and so, you know, I made also the painting about the first idea was that one. The first idea. <laughs> when yeah, yeah. just the first time they talked to me about the bottle, I thought, oh, I have this two paintings that I have finished and I really do like them. I think one of them, one of them. I wanted just one. And I think it's it fits good. But Alex said, no, 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 we should find something else. It should be very beautiful. And she should be, um, at the same time, inviting. And at the same time, gentle. So <laughs> I make, I think, more than, than thousands of different bottles. <laughs> in Alex. Yes. Uh, and I arrived also to take um, the um, list, gold list, and I took the bottle as as uh, you used to do in Chile because I know that for all the other bottles you just painted them physically. Yeah, we have some over here. <laughs> yeah, 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 I've seen them. And um, I so I put the gold, then I put the, the some images, something I painted. Uh, then I, I made the painting because with punching anyway, it's it's impossible to see how it's going to be on right. the bottle. And, then, and when you see the end, no, no, it's not, no, it's not that, it's not that, it's not that, it's not that. And uh, we also, we tried to use some images of the uh, uh, fresco murals, I may say, mm -hmm. that we made in reception with Alex Paula, my husband. Yeah, and also that one it was something not different. No, at the end, at the end we said, okay, let's, let's just take the first idea and see how it is. And I wanted to, to make just one girl, but Alex said no. I, uh, Alex, he said. Sorry, which one? Alex, which one was your favorite? Which one were you going to choose? At the end, I want. I wanted Katipila. I wanted the, the oh. yeah that one. That one. Yeah, I wanted her. I wanted just her. Okay. And um, and uh, and we we even you know we, because there are in um, it should have been produced in France. Mm -hmm. And they have restrict rules, even about the design, you know, they have to put the information exactly. So it was so, I think, straight space for two of them. But at the end, I don't know, we have succeeded. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, I must say that always working with Alex and Carrie on um, reception or on the bottle, they are so creative and participation, you know, so hard. So, you can say that they co-create. <laughs> That's a so, good way to say it. <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, when we uh, finished the, the murals in um, reception, it is written. It is also written with Alex, Carrie, Al and Alex and Carrie Vic. <laughs> we made it all together <laughs> because there are so many ideas. them too, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So many ideas and so <laughs> many anecdotes <laughs> about, <laughs> about the reception, also. It's very interesting what your husband does too. <laughs> and it's um so Elena, um this this punching technique, um you uh well you have this whole collection of people. Uh who are your 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 inspirational characters? Because you can see people that it's like the antique technique, but everybody is very modern and uh, very like androgynous and they, they they look like they could be from any part of the world so, yeah. so what inspires you what, what are your your muses your the people that uh, the models, <laughs> your Actually, models for, yeah. yeah for photosynthesis as i told you i i i use this thing like i used to look for the photos in mainstream in google ah, you know okay and just rub different of them uh -huh. And then I just cut them and put together. So sometimes for one painting, there are also five different models. Oh. The body is from one, the, the Next. Uh, touch of the gold from another one, yeah. uh, the face from another, the, the hair from another. So it's a synthesis of different photos. So, yeah. so really the people on your, on, your, uh, on your works of art are nobody. And everybody. Uh, yeah, <laughs> of, uh, photosynthesis, they are, yeah, we can say 
there's so, so many of them that they become nobody. Yeah, because sometimes I even invented some some you know uh, hairs. Hey. I just paint them blue like there, and it, it, and But I put I so it's many different. Interesting because the end result is is mainly what we see today because we are all so mixed. You know, you can see people. Uh, from all over the world and I think now with world by globalization uh, you see all these different uh, uh, aesthetics you know so I think it makes it very um, very up to date very very real <laughs> and I think with La Puvelle you know uh, it's it's very beautiful because uh, at the end she is you know, uh, a, a woman Somebody. of the world. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely, so, different things, yeah. Good, so so tell us a little more, what are you, you're working on uh, new techniques, but you're also going to uh, keep using the gold, right? Yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah. Gold leaf, I always will use it. I, I you know, Actually, I found out about this beautiful material just um, when I studied in another academy after Academy of Brera. I went to Carrara and I was frequenting the course of restoration. Okay. So I had to make the copy of Beato Angelico. It's Italian uh, artist. He was monk also. And when I just, you know, made the hallows of the saints, and I said, "But why? I, I can take this technique and use." To express my images, you know, to use to use for me, just as as it was, uh, and and before painting the the photosynthesis series or different, I used just um, punching. I worked just just not just gold leaf, also with um, aluminium, you know, different metals, metals, and uh, so I punched different metals, <laughs> and I worked just with that. And then uh, I do like painting, and I then I decided just to. To mix them, yeah. And then another project that we are working with uh, with uh, Wick actually, and that uh, last year we've made the evening we called it Drink and Draw Evening. I don't know okay. if you have heard about that. And yeah. um, where we draw, uh, we draw and we drink wine, we taste wine. So using all these um, things and uh, about our different senses to ex at the end is to find out more about yourself. And we are going to continue and to, to, to start again on April of this, um, oh. you know, some e events uh, yeah. inside the Peak <laughs> Hotel. And uh, so people pre uh, first, they're just seeing our um, painting or how can I say, fresco murals that we've made. I hope one day you will succeed to come. And I, to I see have because... seen. I've seen them in Milan. Ah, you've seen it. Yeah, huh? I've been there okay. last year, so I. That's why I really was okay. looking forward to meeting you. <laughs> okay, so you cannot because it's different when you just see the the photos and when you are inside the opera. Oh, it's so yeah. And you are inside it, and yeah. and then with the people we. Because you know, me and Alex, we also worked in the Milano Painting Academy, so we also uh, teach um, drawing and painting to the students. But about the drawing, because I, as I told you, I, do, I really do like study how our brain works. I found out that if we make a sketch very, very quickly, uh, sketch, we can um, escape from our control of ourselves. Because the problem when we try to draw. Every one of us could draw, but there are few people who really know how to draw, actually. It's and true. at the same time as writing, you know, at the school we all were forced to write, but actually we are not made to write, it's difficult. At the same time, the same thing with um, the drawing, but with the drawing also, usually people just remain on the um, level as they were when they were a child, yeah? Just drawing, and I said, "Yeah, I, I, I just don't know how to draw. I have no talent, absolutely." Most of people say like this, "Just don't, no, 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 no." Then when you just tell them, but you know, it's your brain who tries to control you and put you in this condition that you have to judge yourself, looking at your uh, drawing. Then you have to, to be afraid of uh, judging of other people, and you just don't have fun as you used to be when you were a child. So when you drink a little bit of wine, <laughs> you're a little bit relaxed. <laughs> After that, you draw differently. 
and at the same time for example we use timing you know we just say people let's make a sketch like one minute then two minutes 30 seconds and at the end 15 seconds <laughs> at this time what's happened to us we don't control when we draw we just don't control ourselves because at this time we just have 15 minutes to finish this yeah. and 15 minutes our brain how does it work it has this part of cortex you know which mm -hmm. is responsible for our instincts so first 15 seconds anything happened to us any stress we have three reactions you know we are or just like this you no know, or aggressive or escape yeah and um, when you have just 15 seconds and you have to draw in this moment you can think you just draw with your instincts and you don't control yourself so your eyes exact uh, you know from your eyes directly with your hand you just work with those two things and you don't control yourself and then you will find out oh, sometimes people say ah oh, i didn't know that i could draw like this and speaking of creativity how is it uh, like to be married to another artist because you both <laughs> live in art <laughs> actually they, it has its advantages but disadvantages also <laughs> this is the main thing that we're always talking just about it that <laughs> But it must be very inspiring when you both are always creating things and, and, and you inspire each other too, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, but most of the time also help when not one you're in, you know, in crisis because cri we need crisis to, to, to grow up. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you, you are inside the crisis, you just don't know, <laughs> you just can't see the light. So you think, oh, it's finished for me. I couldn't paint anymore, you know, each time it's just a tragedy. And another one tells you, but come on, it's like, you know, you've, you've just made it 100 times before and it's just another one, just calm and you know that you need it. Because after that, this, because we, we are, I think we are not, we were not born to be happy, you know, like, happy. <laughs> <laughs> it's something, yeah, you feel it, but sometimes you feel it, sometimes you don't feel it. But we, we were born, born, to and also we need these obstacles to develop ourselves you know to become better <laughs> it's so oh, yeah, and to become great. better we need we need to be also in crisis we need to to suffer we need some problems too because when you to, because problem makes you become creative and you just find out oh okay i'm now here I, I'm here, I feel bad, I just campaigned. Like, for example, I was absolutely this, how can I say, uh, desperato. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah, so also with, um, as, as you asked me, uh, with the question was uh, how we uh, survive <laughs> two artists together. <laughs> Actually, we help one one another, because Alex Fola, if you've seen his work. Yeah. Oh, even, yeah, even during the um, murals, when we when we were making it, we had so different, you know, crisis, but also um, even we even argued with Alex and the Carrie Wick. And Carrie was always to our part, but Alex Wick, he had his ideas. At the end, I must say he was right. <laughs> but we repainted some walls even three times, you know? Wow! Because we're not agreeing uh, one with another. Right. And, um, and uh, first, uh, oh, and another thing w was very very fun because uh, um actually Alex Pola he, uh, he paints always uh, human body he just loves it you know and he's really good at it oh yeah and, uh, <laughs> yeah and, and so his dream was to paint always naked people sometimes because he was also censored in some exhibitions because of it you know. Because really? we are in Italy, <laughs> so sometimes uh, people just say, "No, it's impossible. You just have to hide them, those uh, naked models." So okay, and when we had this uh, project with Alex and Carrie Wick to paint all his um, Alex and and, and the Carrie, they wanted people, naked people, like Renaissance uh, fresco murals. Okay, uh, and we made the project, but we didn't think that uh, Alex Wick intended naked it, it was like really naked so all the figures they had like kind of pants also contemporary a little bit you know like uh, pants for, for the beach I may say like yeah. this so we began to paint and there were three figures were already painted 
And then um, Alex and Kerry came because they went to Chile to you, you say they just traveled always. So when they were back, the figures were made already. And there was a figure with the pants, a big one. You know, do you remember the Atlantis? Which is the, the pose was absolutely difficult to, to, to hide that part, you know. <laughs> so when he went, when he seen these pants, he said, no, 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 you didn't understand, guys. I don't want the, them to have pants. They should be naked. And I said, okay, we are actually, we always wanted to, to paint something like this. So, you know, so free-minded, so open-minded. We never, <laughs> no, I never knew anyone else like this. Yeah, but uh, uh, you see the pose and also, you know, it's like on the level of your eyes, actually. <laughs> the people, when they're making selfie, no, 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 no. So we have to repaint them. And Alex uh, Pola invented this thing. You've seen they have all this... Uh, red belt of karate. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> but, and there is a shadow, so you can see it. Actually, you can see. You can. You can not see it. It's. It's a good thing. But it was so fun that we had to make all of the pieces because all the models they pose already with the pants. <laughs> we had to remake everything <laughs> to repaint all those parts, and then at the end, it is really beautiful. Good, good. Yeah, well, they, they certainly look very interesting. So, uh, so congratulations on that. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and your room, how was that? Because you have the big figure of the caterpillar. Was that made before the bottle or after? No, no, it's all, um, actually that was in the bathroom. I decided just to, to take those parts of photosynthesis mm -hmm. that uh, they were talking about the, the micro world, you know, about these plants and the insects that I put. So I just cut the photos <laughs> again <laughs> and uh, mixed them. And then we created the, the, um, this kind of, um, how do you call it? When you create the, the paper, you just print it. Mm -hmm. And then I painted on it. On oh, the... Okay, so you used a different technique. Yeah, I mixed uh, less, like collage and different techniques. Yeah, oh, but and I, think... I, I also put the gold leaf on it. So it's uh -huh. just it's painted. It's uh, with the gold leaf or some some prints. It's all mixed. I, I think... would like to invite uh, people to come to our course, for example, of drink and draw yes. that we will have <laughs> in April. That and, starts in uh, April. Yeah, yeah, we will try to do it best way because it's really interesting to, to to mix all those things like drawing and tasting wine. And this hotel is the best place, I think. It's also in the heart of Milan, at the center, yeah. which, where so many art and also the wines. It becomes one of the best wines now in the world. It's wow. amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a really <laughs> great thing. And yeah, I would like to invite people to. Um, I'm sure. To they, I'm sure people who who listen to this will will want to come because I think it's very interesting and and, and it's uh, it combines two things that Vic uh, represents, you know, art, wine, and uh, yeah, and creation. All about senses. Exactly. And at the end, it's, it's all about finding out more about yourself because it's all the traveling inside yourself. You just find out how you can draw, what kind of person you could be when you're drawing. And uh, you, when you taste wine, it's not just like you find out something about wine. You just find out about something about you because you feel inside the wine different fruits, different things, and you just turn on the memory <laughs> thanks to the parfum of yeah. wine. And yeah. same thing with art also. When you see art, there is a... I think there is a huge part of your memory that talks to you when you really I, I don't know why I do like this and I don't like that yeah, <laughs> I just don't know why it's, but it's, it's all it's but it's because I am like this and so if I do like this means that I'm like this you know and I when I and I when I do like something in art I think it, it becomes like I me and this work are the same thing you know becomes like I, I recognize something inside myself and that's why I see it outside I appreciate it outside nice talking to you Elena and uh, I hope you get a bottle soon yeah <laughs> I will tell the when they come here okay okay tell them 
but I'm waiting <laughs> for sure. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Ciao ciao.